if you work at a dealership right now and you feel like quitting, you feel like it's not for you, you don't feel like you're making the money that they promised you was going to make when you come in. As a matter of fact, when you begin to calculate the amount of hours you're putting in, you say, man, why am I even wasting my time? And guess what? If you feel that way, there is no need for you to panic because you are not by yourself. As a matter of fact, each and every one of us that has ever been in this industry, that has ever experienced any amount of success, whether it be buying homes, uh, buying cars, putting children through colleges, providing lifestyles for our family, moving up the corporate ladder at the dealership, we all at one point felt the exact same way you do. As a matter of fact, I share it with people all the time that when I first started, I was probably one of the worst salespeople at my dealership. I was arrogant, I thought I knew everything, and at that time, um, I didn't know what I didn't know, okay? The good news, though, is that there is a pot of gold at the end of that rainbow. And I want you to think about this with me. Really, I'm gonna put some perspective in this thing. Think about when you were at your previous place of employment, whatever that may be. And think about how many days you sat up dreading going into work because you didn't feel like you was getting paid enough money. You felt like you were being overworked and underpaid, which is the business model of most jobs out there. And remember that job stands for just over broke, J-O-B, where a career gives you the opportunity to afford a lifestyle. Now sales is something that we all are a part of from the moment we're born. When a baby cries, trying to be picked up, be fed out of a diaper chain. That's a sales call. Every relationship you've been in, you have to sell to that person why you're somebody that they should trust and want to be with. Every previous place of employment, you have to sell to that employer every day why they should keep you on as a team member and why you're going to be committed to that organization. So really when you think about it, even sitting in a room by ourselves saying, hey, I'm not doing anything today, I'm just going to chill and play video games or eat or just watch Netflix, we just sold ourselves that it's better to do that than to do anything else. So selling is something that we can't escape. But in the automotive industry, as unfortunate as this is, a lot of people get hired by dealerships and they get sold the dream and deliver the nightmare. They're told about all the training and all this support that they're going to get, but yet when they get started, they thrown out to the wolves and expected to perform, okay? So anytime you feel that you wanna quit, anytime you feel like giving up, anytime you feel like it's just not for you, and let's just face it, it may not be, but before you make that decision, ask yourself this question. How many other companies out there do I have that are willing to pay me 60, 70, 80,000 dollars a year? And if you're honest with yourself and you ask yourself that question, what you'll realize is that the only opportunity that we have to be able to put ourselves in a position to get it, especially if we don't have a college degree, is sales, or should I say in the legal way, is sales with a product or service with a company. And I must admit, um, from myself being involved in this business and the thousands upon thousands of people that I've worked with and that I've seen and that I've met over the years, I've never seen another opportunity like this one that gives somebody with no college degree the real honest opportunity to make a very respectable life for themselves and take care of their family financially. Even put themselves in a position where they can make a hundred plus thousand dollars a year. And it is not a myth. It is not one of these legends that people used to do in the 80s or the 90s or the early 2000s. As a matter of fact, I'm here to share with you the purpose of this video right now is to share with you why in 2020 it is one of the best times for anybody in car sales that I've seen over the last, well forget the last ever. And I'm going to explain to you why that is, how that is, and what you can do to benefit from. Now I want to let you know that this is my new podcast, it's Car Biz in the Raw, where I'm going to be coming at you and I'm going to be laying out the ins and outs of what's going on in this industry. If you are at a store that doesn't provide you with the support that you've been looking for, doesn't offer the training and the resource that you know that you, that you need, the beautiful thing is that you can always come here and you can trust me to make sure that I give you the information that you need to be successful, all right? So let us get into it. <clears throat> Why is 2020 like the best year to be in the business? Now, Understanding that we are in a pandemic right now, but that plays a huge part in what's going on. You see it. People are wearing masks. Folks have gloves on. We're afraid to come in contact with each other. We're not standing very close to each other, but yet and still, 
People still have to get to and from their places of business. They still have to get to and from the grocery store. They still have to transport their children to and from school, to and from daycare. And as a matter of fact, regardless of what the media is saying, more than 80%, more than 80% of the workforce is still gainfully employed. So it's even more important now for people to be able to hold on to the position they got without throwing them away or losing. It's even more important for people to be focused on making sure that they have reliable transportation more than any time before. So now, when you have a customer that's coming into your store, because in February, there's a chance somebody might have just walked in and was just looking or stopped in on a Saturday after stopping at a couple of flea, uh, stopping at some garage sales or the flea market with the family and they just came in there just looking. But think about it. For an individual to, to risk their health to leave out of their home, to come into a building where there's between 30 and maybe 70 people in it, to interact with someone they don't know about a particular product like a vehicle. You know that they're serious to be willing to come out because if they were just looking, think about it, who really risked their health in their life when they could just pull it up on the internet if that's all they wanted to do? Who would be willing to risk their health in their life if they haven't made some internal decision that they know they have a transportation need and now it's time to solve it? So let me let you know some closing percentages are way up and gross profit margins on the vehicles are way up because even though the amount of people coming into the store may have shortened, should I say lessen, the ones that are coming, they're not coming just to quote unquote kick tires or to play. They're serious. Well, why is it that everybody isn't batting a thousand? It's because a lot of salespeople, unfortunately, haven't been shown how do you create a positive impression during the pandemic? How do you greet somebody with impact even though you lost giving them a handshake or you lost being able to give them a fist pound? How do you qualify somebody and make them feel comfortable while maintaining social distance? These are key things that if they aren't shown to you, aren't laid out, aren't provided for you, they're putting you at a disadvantage right from the beginning. So that's why the closing person, that's why we're in this position, okay? And this is the, the how you can capitalize is learning the right things to say, the right way to do. It's like when you greet somebody, do you know that there are two questions that destroy your opportunity right out the gate? And most salespeople have no idea that when you say, can I help you and how you're doing, right there from the beginning, you are really taking the odds of you being able to help this person way down. And if you're greeting somebody at your store using one of those two greetings, guess what? The good news for you is you're just one small adjustment away from watching your numbers blow through the roof. But if you, but you don't know what you don't know. Just like when you're sitting somebody down to qualify, do you know that there's a way to sit someone down and position yourself with a safe social distance and certain questions and certain things that you can ask to show this person, A, I understand where we at and what's going on today. B, your safety is important to me. And C, let me show you how I'm so different from everyone else that I want to listen to you. And I know when it's time for you to listen to me, you're more comfortable doing it because I did it to you. So you're reciprocated. Also, when it goes to set up the demonstration, dog, even though you may not be in the vehicle with them, do you know what to say and the things to point out so that while they're riding, they know what to focus on and kind of uh, build value from? When you're doing your walk around before they go on the demonstration drive, are you standing at the front of the car and just letting them do their thing because you're afraid of social distancing? Or has anybody educated you that these people still want to be wild? That's why they're there. Okay? There is a surefire way. And how you can benefit from it is by taking your time. Remembering that good salespeople practice what to say and great ones practice what to ask. And by making sure you fully understand that you can still be dynamic even during downtime. You can still make a positive impression even during the pandemic, okay? And there's a way for you to do it. So one, I want you to make sure that if you haven't already, that you subscribe to the channel, okay? And make sure that you hit that notification bell and hit all so you get notified of all the things I put up, okay? Become a connection because the car is in the raw is going to blow the doors off anything you may have been missing at your dealership. And if you're somebody that's ready to get going right now, I encourage you to click the link. There is a free audio that I have that really breaks down how to do a positive, uh, to make a positive impression during the pandemic. Click that link, it's totally free. Once you go to it, you'll go ahead and enter your information, download it and listen to it right now and watch what it does for you. But get ready, because Car Biz in the Raw is coming. So check back in, I'm Brian Maxwell.